Hi, I'm Dennis Gage and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're at about 7,500 feet in Alamosa, Colorado. Now, Alamos is in the San Luis Valley, and I'm telling you, it's beautiful here. And they've got a killer show right on the banks of the Rio Grande. They've got about six, 700 cars here. I don't even know how many. Let's get around and check some of these babies out. I like it. Hey Matt, how you doing, man? Great, great to have you here, Dennis. Great to be here. What a great, what a great town Alamos is. I like this place. I like oh. the San Luis Valley. It's really an interesting setting. I mean, we're way up in this. Well, it's a valley, but it's a valley at like 7,500 feet or something. Exactly. Right? Yes, we're the highest mountain valley in the in the world. Really? Yes. And then we're rimmed by mountains. Yes. And right over there, that's the Rio Grande. Is yes. that right? Yes. Like that's almost right. where it begins. We're pretty yes. close, huh? Yep. Yeah, the Continental Divide is actually not too far from us. This is a cool place. And I'll tell you the other thing I've noticed about this town is everybody's really nice. Yes. It's a good vibe. Yes. We strive for that. <laughs> and, you, and you and you achieve it. Yes. And by the way, you have a nice car show. Thank you. <laughs> we appreciate it. So how long has the show been going on? Since uh, 1980. So it's our 39th year. Oh, wow. Year. Jeez. Yes. Wow. This is an interesting park, too, because, you know, it's... It's this big flat field, and you can pump a lot of cars in here. Yes, we have uh, we have close to 600 this year, so I mean it's uh, better than expected, and I mean it's it's a great day. You can ask for better weather. Yeah. yeah. Well, so you know we, we had a little time to kill, and you're just uh, 30 miles or so from the Great Sand Dunes National Park. Yes. So we went out there just it's just an amazing thing, and then you had a gathering here last night with you know. It was basically a car show last night, but it was just a welcome party, right? Yeah, yeah, we had almost close to 400 cars here last night. <laughs> just a few friends getting together, yeah. you know, <laughs> with burgers and stuff. And then after the show today, then there's a this, this cruise tonight, right? Yes, down yeah, to... we'll have approximately 400 cars uh, slow cruising down our main street. So, I mean, it's it's insane. It's great. Well, it's a cool place. It's a cool show, man. Like I say, Alamos to San Luis Valley. It's nice. I want to see the real grand. What do you say we go check it out? Let's go All right, let's it do it, man. All right, let's go. Well, Fred, I, I uh, think this is a really cute little Bronco. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is really the original body style, right? Yes, sir. What year is this? This one's a 71. 71. Did it come in this color? Yes, it came in a turquoise color, but we added a little bit of pearl, a little bit of metallic to it. Was the grill body color? The grill came out white with this. It matched, oh, okay. the, it matched the hard top. I always liked these, and you know, these are now really taken off, and they're, they're worth some money now. But you're kind of a Bronco guy, aren't you? Yes, between my son-in-law and myself, we have four of them. Four of them. <laughs> yes. It's a disease. Yes. <laughs> but these Broncos are great. And then did they call this a bikini top, or? Yes, sir. This one's a bikini top. They also make the full top for it also. Uh-huh. Do you have that full top still? The, or? the original metal top, yes. The, it wasn't fiberglass, it's no, metal? it's all metal. What is that way? It's a little heavy. It takes heavy. two men. <laughs> That's a two-man two man. Yes, sir. How about all the diamond plate on your, your door panels and your dash and stuff? I bought this as a complete uh, kit. So it's a dress up, basically? Yes, sir. Now, these look like original seat frames, but I don't remember the two-tone. Yes. The seats are original, and the, and the two-tone, that was another thing I wanted done. So you're making it yours. Yes, sir. And you get the, to do that because it's yours. Yeah, the seats <laughs> came all white. Well, you know, it's, it's nice that it gives it this, I don't know, it gives a real beach feel, you know, sort oh. of. Now, how about the, the rear of the spare? Did, did they all come outside or? This one came outside. They also come mounted on the inside. Uh -huh. and you could also mount them on the side. And this one swings out and then you drop the, the gate? Yes, sir. Original bumper? I mean, it's. No, uh, this is a aftermarket bumper. The other one was solid metal, white. And oh, okay. Pretty rough. Okay. Uh, I saw your badge 302. You still running that? Yes, sir. Let's go look at it. Okay. Looks to me like you drive this. It's a daily driver. Good for you. Is that the original 302? No, this is the second uh, engine on it. The original owner changed it out in the mid 80s. Uh huh. So would this be the original color? Yes, sir. It is pretty much the same, but you're right. It just doesn't have the pop. You're right. And how do these drive actually? Is it is it a little bit rough? Not to me. I I enjoy driving. Well, them. you have four of them. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you going to yeah, compare it yeah. to? Another Bronco? <laughs> mm -hmm. But they are fun, yeah. and everybody that I know that has one of these just has a blast with yeah. it. They just bomb around them. Yeah. They're just a fun toy. Yeah, those those four my son-in-law has too, and I have these two, and we enjoy them all. Well, with the 302, this thing's pretty hot. 
it, it's, it it's nice to drive it. <laughs> it's not bashful. It is not bashful. Do you have power steering and everything? No, sir. Oh, wow. So it's, uh, you know. It's Armstrong steering. Armstrong. <laughs> power steering by Armstrong. <laughs> have you been to the Alamosa show before? No, sir. I, this is my first time. I think it's great. Isn't it, though? That's a great venue, and man, there's a lot of cars here. I was, in, I was impressed. <laughs> I was impressed. Well, you know what? So am I. And I'm also impressed with this 71 Bronco. Thanks for bringing it out, yes, Fred. Thank you very, very much. Beautiful. James, this is, a, this is a sweet ride. 63 Lincoln Continental. I just have always dug these cars. I just think they're stately, elegant, and, and massive. <laughs> that they are. <laughs> and you didn't buy it in this, in this shape? No, sir. I bought this uh, pretty beat up. It was sat in a field for about 30 years, and it had the back quarter panel smashed in, and oh, the guy really? just parked it. So it only had about 50,000 miles on it. Did you do the restoration? Did you do I did the restoration work? myself, and that's why it took so long. I mean, block and sanding a regular car is one thing. Block well, and sanding a link is something that's a, a block long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> these are so slab-sided. Yeah. It's hard to get these straight. This was the year that they called the electric shaver grill, right. didn't they? Yep. Did you have to re-chrome that? Or? No, nope, that's how it came. I just polished it out with some others and spent a lot of time trying to invent tools to polish in between each and every piece. <laughs> Interesting color too, because it's, they came in a color like this, but it Correct. didn't have that metal flake, I don't think. Or, or no, not. what I did is the Ford F-Series root beer brown on the newer trucks, because I wanted, you know, the pearl in there or whatever. Sure. So it's period correct color with a little bit of enhancement. A little zazz to it, yeah. right? You know, I didn't notice, so I was kind of walking up to this. I never noticed how the windshield on this is smaller at top than it is at the bottom. It's like yeah. a trapezoid. Yeah, it's concave all over the place. I'm, I'm a window tinter, so I can tell you it's a pain to tint these. <laughs> <laughs> so is that your uh, magic eye or whatever they call it, your light dimmer? My kids are convinced it's a laser because I've <laughs> tried to convince them of that. But ultimately, yes, it is the headlight dimmer. Does it work? Yeah, it actually works. Oh, that's cool. I just love these interiors because all that light, uh, that's like bird's eye maple, isn't it? That is exactly what it is. Well, it, that's and just a beautiful wood, isn't it? You yeah, know, it's one of the best looking. And I even put it behind the instrument cluster, which typically oh, yeah. they didn't put it behind That's there. nice. You did uh, update the radio, but really, otherwise, the dash is all Original. 63, right? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, what I love about these cars, they're suicide doors, right? Yep. Can yep. we open them? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, because that's just, I got a 67 T-Bird with suicides, oh, and awesome. I just yeah, love that's, that's my great favorite car. feature. And like a Lincoln, oh, man. Yeah. Fits beautiful, really elegant, square styling. Beautiful tail lights. Is that a 63 light? No, these are actually the 65 lights. The light is the same, it's just the bezel that's over it. Oh, okay, the, you know, the chrome-esque stuff. And this is really nice too. It's really straight and polished. I thought that had something on it. Yeah, they come with an etching. Um, it's more like a dull gray etching. Uh -huh. And I just wanted to polish it out, make it horrible for people driving behind me at night. <laughs> 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 Get the reflection. I can't see. Yeah, uh -huh. so it just added a little more to the car, added some brightness to it. So she's so original every other way. I suspect you still have the original engine in it. Yes, sir. It's the um, Mel 430 in there. Let's go look at it. All right. And there she is. You know, it's a it's a huge car, and yet that thing just looks like it fills up the entire yeah, engine it, compartment. But I mean, you did a great job in here, too. The valve covers are not original. These are on the uh, Mark IIs. I had somebody make me that, and then I had the header covers made with the Continental badge on there as well. This is stunning, 1963 Lincoln Continental. Show winner last year, glad you brought it back this year. Thanks, Thank James. Thank you. Pleasure. Way cool car. <laughs> Gary, I love Jaguars, and I've, I've had a few of them, but I've never had an XK150. I just, I love them. This is a 1958, right? It's a 1958. This is a fixed head coupe, and you know, sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't, but I think it works on the 150, and I really think it works in white. <laughs> this is just gorgeous, and it's just in really nice shape. Did you buy it this way, or did you no. have to do it? We did it. I mean, we started with a driver, and yeah. you know, one thing led to another, led to another, and it <laughs> turned into a frame-off restoration. A lot of it been re-chromed, or? The whole thing's been re-chromed, repainted, the frame's been powder coated, the engine's been rebuilt. Um, and is this a correct, uh, the old, old English white? Yes, old English white, right yeah. down to the paint code. And it's got a black interior, which uh, it, I typically think of white one uh, having red. This came in four different colored interiors, uh -huh. uh, red being one of them, but this is the original color. Is that a jump seat back there? Well, it's, Kinda... a, it's a place to put your cooler. Right, there you go. <laughs> it's a very small. And was the white uh, yeah. dash? So that, that's, that's a different color leather in the center, and that is, that is factory correct. You did change the steering wheel. 
Yes, I did. I still have the original, but which I'm is really tall. Yeah, and my yeah. legs are long. And yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I found that you hit your thighs with it yes. really easily. That's yes. true. And are those room. Smith or Stuart Warner gauges? They're Smith. They're Smiths. And this, you know, beautiful trunk, this kick up, that seems more than usual. Yeah, that, and that was a very early thing that Jaguar did in the 150. It was only about a 10 month period that they had the kick out like that. But I tell you, that license plate yeah. is so awesome. <laughs> yeah, we're really lucky because, you know, it is a, the skiers, that's the only year the skier was on that's the That's it? That's the only right? 58? 58 in the <sighs> old days. And this plate, when I found it, actually was from a place called Cripple Creek, which I know you've been to. I have been up on and, Cripple Creek. And we live in Colorado Springs, so. It, it's really very close to where we oh, we live, so it, it fit really nicely. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. Now, uh, three three point four liter probably dual overhead yep. cam. Can we go look at it? You betcha. All right. Oh yeah, I love how the grill comes up with it. Oh gee, yeah. that is you know that's the engine Jag used for a long, long time. Very dual long. overhead cam, inline six, dual SU. Those are six HD six. Those are actually they're eights. eights. They look they're bigger. Eights, yeah, yeah, those are eights. So that was an option, and so I upgraded really? to the eights. So yeah. this is, this thing's. For kind of a hot rod. Well, yeah, for a Jaguar. For a Jaguar. But it came with this package with about 210 horsepower. So uh -huh. back in 1958, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. 1958 Jag XK150 fixed head coupe. That's right. Beautiful. Good. Thank Thanks you very a lot, much, man. Dennis. Appreciate it. Well, Mark. This is a boat. Yes, it <laughs> is. A 54 Fleetwood Series 62. Series 62 Caddy. This yes, is sir. a monster. I mean, think about 54. 54 cars weren't really very big. They no. weren't very long. This is ridiculous. Yeah. What an interesting color, too. Mm -hmm. that, that is not a stock color. No, it's a Sherwin Williams hot rod green. But she sure looks good. But these are really big Dagmars out here. Yes. I mean, those things look dangerous, actually. Yes. And a massive grill in general. Mm -hmm. This thing was just. This was like when they were building, how big a car can we build? Let's try this. Yeah, it's just exactly. amazing. What made it a Fleetwood? The way I understood it is Fleetwood was a step up from yeah. your standard coupe. That's, that's what, I, that's what I thought, yeah. And then the interior looks like kind of an original pattern, but yes. was this thing originally green or not? No, it was blue oh, and okay. we changed it over to green. But you did kind of keep Stock uh, stock pattern, pattern. Uh -huh. correct. Uh huh. And is that is that a white padded dash? Yes, I white like padded that. dash. Like, uh huh. You know, I always like the uh, speedometer in, in this car, and that looks like that's all been rechromed too. Correct. And were these padded up here? Yes. This, I mean, this was luxury, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, this was in '54. Yes. You were styling in this thing. These chrome sides are just fake. Chrome though. sides. Those those are original. And they got you know this little kick up, you know, we got fins coming. This had the this was the filler, wasn't it? Yes, was the gas filler. That just is crazy. So, it's so weird. <laughs> it's just so mm -hmm. weird, but you got to love it. You know, the other thing that's uh, interesting is you're still coming through the bumper. Correct. The Most of those is... long ago rotted out. Yes, yes. And believe it or not, those are stock. Really? Yes. The exhaust pipes are stock. And that is one honking Continental kit, too. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I should... It's just ridiculously big. Yeah, <laughs> it's a just big like, old bulk. It's almost cartoonishly uh -huh. big. I, I, and, and this color, it just makes it, I don't know, it even makes it look bigger. I don't know. Yeah, it sure stands out. It, yes, you can't miss it. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you say we go up and check out the engine? Sure. All right. Big hood, too. Original engine? Original engine, what? 331. 331. Mm -hmm. Oil bath air cleaner stuff. Oil bath air cleaner. Man, oh man. Mm -hmm. And what, now, what are these, the reservoirs for the power the steering? Reservoir, the first one's the power steering. Yeah. And the second one is for the brakes. Oh, and then really? the back one is the windshield washer. Windshield washer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Glass. It always seemed odd to That's me. That's crazy. It looks that... like a bottle jar. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does she run? Does she you redid the engines run pretty well? Yes, it runs really well. These things had a little bit of a motorboat feel. They still do. They <laughs> still does. Still does. Yes. Huh? Right. But this must turn heads every everywhere you go. Everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's and it's simply the color. Yeah. It's, well, like I say, it's pretty hard to miss. <laughs> so a 1954 Cadillac Fleetwood With Series 62. Series 62. Ben and the fam. Mm -hmm. I like this car, Mark. Thank Thanks you. for bringing it out, man. No problem. Thank way you. Way cool. Way cool. Thank you. Scott, um, I love wagons. I think wagons are just cool. Yep. And this is a very cool wagon. This is a 66 Ford Country Squire. I can't remember the last time I saw a 66. I guess people just used them up. Yeah, I think so. I think they went in a lot of uh, 
They got a lot of them got crushed and a lot of them used in demolition derbies. Yeah, because you can yeah. back into a lot of cars with this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So do they make kits for this now or not? No, it, they don't. You so you to, had to do this yourself? Yes. So how'd you do that? All the lighter wood trim is fiberglass and we sort of blasted that and sent it off to a guy in California that oh, wood grained it. Wood grained it? Wow. And then he sent us the vinyl and we, my wife and I put that vinyl on. Was that tricky getting all the bubbles out and everything? Yeah, or? and getting the lines straight, <laughs> yeah. These buttons here. They're are, all, yeah, they're all stainless it, steel buttons that pop on. Very Ford front end, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it? It never had any center badge? No. Is it cast or is it uh, pressed metal, do you know? It's cast. It is. Mm, it's pretty heavy. Let's see, 66. When do they go to this body style? 65. Five. Right, right. So yep. Was it red to begin with? Yes. And is this, it's been reshot though, right? Yes, sir. But single stage and the single same stage. color? Yeah. And what are your wheels? <laughs> there are some centerline wheels. Old school, but kind of updated old mm -hmm. school. And they're 16s, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I like the interior, which looks original too, with this all this embossed vinyl. Was that, that come with this, or do you have to redo that? We found it at SMS Auto. Man, and, yeah. what would the world do without them? I know. <laughs> and then they redid our uh, oh, door panels geez. too. And a cool dash too, actually. These dashes are usually completely trashed. How, how did you keep yours so nice? It was like that. Oh, <laughs> I see. Are these actual vents? Well, they just, it's just a vent that kind of wraps around to kind of, I think, keep oh, the dust and keep, stuff off Does here. that work? I think it works pretty good. Because, I mean, station wagons, that's the bane yeah. of station wagons, is the dirty <laughs> rear window. The rear window. So yeah. that was just a blow through, just try yeah. to run air across it. Mm -hmm. How about that? Now, this had the magic door? The magic gate. The magic gate, magic yeah. gate. Yeah, show me the magic gate. Okay. I, I love this. Well, you can open it like a regular tailgate. And that's what you think. I mean, okay, mm -hmm. it's a station wagon. We're going to yeah. do that. That's fine. Or you can open it like a regular door. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> the engineering that went into that, that's just crazy. Mm -hmm. But I dig it. And the other thing that I'd forgotten is that the seats face this way. You faced each other, I guess. And, and then that would be where you stashed the spare. Yep. That little thing on the yeah, side. Under the latch. Was the upholstery back here okay still? Yeah, that's all original. Is it back. really? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I think this thing's really kind of optioned out. Your badge 390, is that what it came with? Yes, sir. Let's go look at that. Okay. Well, there she is. Yeah. The venerable Ford 390. Yep. That's a pretty heavy duty bulletproof. And they put them in trucks. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a, yeah. that's a tough they had them in And I mean, that looks, Ford Blue, I mean, it looks like you really just redid that engine. We did. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess that explains <laughs> it, doesn't it? Did these, by 66, did they come with a dual master cylinder, or did you upgrade that? I upgraded, but yeah, just brakes on just, the front. Yeah, it's just amazing to me. Do people come to you and say, oh, yeah, I remember these when I was a kid? Uh, or, everybody everybody does. Everybody's got a story, right? Everybody does. Yeah, I really love yeah. it. 66 Ford Country Square with a 390 <laughs> and the Magic Gate. Thanks, yeah. Scott. Thank you. Cool ride. Oh, man. The Early Iron Festival here in Alamosa, Colorado. It's really a nice show. It's really a cool place. You gotta check this one out. Hi -ya!